Hi guys, just Janice, and I'm going to be playing with some alcohol inks. I'm hoping to do something fall, tree, I don't know. Basically, I have the Daniel Smith masking fluid, and what this does is you put it down and wherever it is, and then you peel it back up, and wherever this is, the ink won't go. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Um, I have a ultra smooth Gesso's panel. It's the Da Vinci kind. It's the 12 by 12. It's only the three quarter thickness, but that's okay. They work just as well. I've got all kinds of colors. I've got two NARA colors that are kind of reddish orange. I'm going to list them in the description. I've got some Rangers. I've got Rosewood. I've got Valencia and I've got lettuce. I've got some pinata colors. I've got coral and the sun bright yellow. I've got the pinata brass. And I'm going to throw in some pinata Havana brown too, maybe. Um, maybe. I've got the 97% alcohol. And yeah, let's get going. Okay, this is dry to the touch. Um, I'm going to put the inks on. Um, I wasn't real worried about the pattern yet because I'll probably go through it with like my Posca pen afterwards too. So, here we go.
Okay. Now for the magic part. I hope it works. I really do. Okay, with the magic of television, ta-da. Oh, so many things I would love to go back and do again. The, not the thickness as far as width in the masking, I would go depth, I would go thicker, make it easier to peel it off. Um, there's places where I pulled and peeled up some of the alcohol ink um, here it bled underneath and it peeled up the ink there um, I'm just I guess I need more practice with it but I just wanted fall and maybe a tree and I don't draw real well I thought about using a stencil but the only tree stencil I had was tiny so um, this is what I got but I think what I want to do now is I want to go back in outline um, with the marker, with a Posca pen, maybe even some gold, and just add some, a little bit of depth and a little bit of added things to it. I was shaking the brown Posca pen and flung it across, so there's spots where I should have sprayed the Kamar before I did that, but I didn't. But now I'm going to go ahead and do some outlining.
Okay, thanks for doing this with me, guys. Um, I wanted it to look a little more animated than perfect. Um, added the gold down here, but I'm still not quite sure if I'm going to add the gold up here. I do need to clean that stuff in there up. Um, I'm not sure. This was fun. I know I'll do it different next time. I will clean things up. I'll probably put a coat of the Kamar on, and then I'll then I can go in and use the pen and decide if I want to fill in any other spots. But yeah, it was different. I may do once I get it sealed up. I may do probably some mixed media on top of it with some chipboard pieces. But we'll see. It's fall. But thanks for being with me, guys. Um, right after me, head over to Art by Julie E. She's up next at 345. And right after her is the boys from Massey Art Studio. And thanks for hanging with our little Wednesday train. Thanks, guys. Bye.